As many of you may know, a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake was officially announced. I thought that it would be a fun idea to make my first ever lore video, and to keep with the topic of KOTOR, I would base it around my personal favourite Star Wars character, Revan. A lot of this script is taken from the Revan article on Wikipedia, I will leave a link to the article in the description if you would like to check it out for yourself. There is a lot more information about Revan on there, this is just the basics. So without further ado, let's talk about the history of Revan. Revan was a human male who played pivotal roles as both Jedi and Sith in the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War. Believed to have been born in the Outer Rim territories, the man later known as Revan was born around the year 3994 BBY and studied under a number of different Jedi Masters as a Padawan of the Jedi Order. Becoming fast friends with a fellow student named Alec, the young man became a Jedi Knight and was a vocal and charismatic critic of the Order's inactivity in the ongoing Mandalorian Wars between the Galactic Republic and the Mandalorian Warrior Clans. Leading the Revenkist movement in defiance of the Jedi Council's wishes and taking on the name Revan, the Knight donned the mask of a fallen Mandalorian as he joined the Republic military's fight and was appointed Supreme Commander. However, when Revan defeated the Mandalorian leader, Mandalore the Ultimate, at the Battle of Malachor V, Revan and his friend Alec, now known as Malak, followed the trail of the mysterious Sith influence in the Mandalorian Wars to the Unknown Regions, where the two discovered the reconstituted Sith Empire and were turned to the dark side of the Force by the Sith Emperor. Sent back to the Republic as advanced agents, the newly appointed Dark Lords of the Sith, Darth Revan and Darth Malak, broke free of the Emperor's mental control and established their own empire with the Starforge, an ancient space station of great power that had been built by the Rakata species. Using the Starforge to construct a military fleet and weapons, Revan and Malak waged war against the Republic in the resultant Jedi Civil War. However, Revan was betrayed by his Sith apprentice Malak and captured by the Jedi Knight Bastila Shan, who saved Revan and formed a force bond with her captive. With his mind wiped, Revan was given a new identity as a Republic soldier by the Jedi Council and stationed aboard the Republic warship Endar Spire. However, when Malak attacked the Spire above the planet Taris in a failed attempt to capture Bastila, Revan joined forces with the Republic officer Karth Onasi and a number of other individuals on Taris to locate Bastila and escape the world before Malak destroyed the planet's surface. Revan and his friends travelled to the planet Dantooine to seek out the Jedi Enclave, where he was retrained as a Jedi Padawan. Sent on a mission to locate the star maps, Rakat and artifacts that would lead the way to the Starforge, Revan gained new allies and grew close with Bastila during their travels. However, when the group was captured by Malak, Revan's true identity was revealed and Bastila was captured, forcing Revan and his crew to find the final map and locate the Starforge on their own. Aboard the Starforge, Revan brought a fallen Bastila back to the light side of the Force with his love and defeated Malak, earning the Cross of Glory and the title of Prodigal Knight. Revan marries Bastila and sank into obscurity for several years, until his resurfacing memories led him to leave his wife and unborn child behind in a search for answers in the Unknown Regions. Captured by the Sith, he was imprisoned for three years until a former lieutenant of his, named Mitra Surik, rescued him with the help of the Sith Lord Scourge. The trio's attempt to eliminate the Sith Emperor failed, and Revan was held captive by the Emperor for 300 years until he was finally freed by the Republic forces. Taking control of the Rakatan foundry, Revan attempted to construct an army of extermination droids to destroy the Empire, but the Jedi Master died when he was defeated by the Imperial Strike Team. However, the torture that he experienced at the hands of the Emperor had splintered Revan's mind, and while part of him attempted to become one with the Force, the rest rejected death and clung to life, embracing the dark side. Taking control of the fanatical Order of Revan, he sought to destroy the Sith Emperor once and for all by bringing the Sith Ruler back to a physical form and killing him, but both the Empire and the Republic joined together in an effort to stop him. Revan's light side was unable to pass on and aided the Coalition in defeating the Dark Revan, and although the Emperor was able to regain his strength, the two halves of Revan merged and were able to die a final death. Revan's spirit went on to aid the heroes of the galaxy in defeating the Sith Emperor once and for all, and his task completed, he became one with the Force. His legacy, however, would live on. The Sith Lord Darth Riven, who lived during the thousand year conflict known as the New Sith Wars, chose his name after reading the damaged manuscript about Revan, 
and the Sith Lord Darth Bane discovered Revan's Sith Holocron on the planet Lehon and used Revan's teachings to develop the Rule of Two philosophy. Thank you so much for watching my first ever lore video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and tell me who you would like to see me talk about in the next one of these. I upload Star Wars videos every single Friday, so if you enjoyed this, please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you next week, guys. Take care.